In this video, I'm going to touch on the capture process on mobile device. And I'm going to set up OneDrive and OneNote on the, a Android phone. And uh, this will help you capture information in any scenario when you are working out, when you are surfing the web from, on your mobile, when surfing social media and so on. So what you're going to do is download the OneNote app. Then you're going to open it and you want to sign in with the account where you stored your OneNote workbook. In the previous video, we um, stored it in a OneDrive for Business and uh, it was about the uh, how to set up OneNote on uh, a Windows machine. So you want to check out that video if you haven't done that. And uh, when signing in to uh, OneNote, you will see that you will find the notebooks that are stored there. And we're going to choose the GTD notebook, which is the one I'm using to, to store uh, all my information. There we'll see the collection section. And uh, we're going to hold and press on that section until we get the menu. On the bottom of that menu, you will see uh, the choice to set it as default. You will choose that and set collection as default because that makes the collection section as the default place where you store your quick notes. And that's it for setting up OneNote on an Android phone. So now I'm going to show you how to do the actual capture. So you want to go over to um, your Android phone and, and you want to set up quick notes uh, for OneNote. When opening that, you get the option to write down the title and the information. And this will help you capture in any situations, as I mentioned earlier. And when storing that, you know it will get stored to the collection section. And you know you will find that information. Before I succeeded with, with, with this system, I uh, didn't know where to store information that I got um, when talking to other people at my son's practice, when I was at conferences, um, talking with my colleagues and so on. So I sent myself SMS. I sent myself emails, I didn't know where to store it. But now I know where to find it. It goes into the collection section. Another super tip is send to OneNote, either from social media like Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, uh, or you can do it directly from the web browser. I use Chrome and I really like the way OneNote captures a web page. So if you go into Chrome, you go into the menu, and you can send to OneNote directly from that web page. And it will actually store the web page either as picture or the whole article. That is really nice. So I want to do that because I want to read a good article for later. Or if I'm researching a topic for a YouTube video or a blog post or a document I'm writing or me wanting to learn new information, I want to make sure I can find that information again. And storing it in OneNote, I know where to find it so I can sort it later on. So this was how to set up OneNote on your Android phone. And I hope it was helpful, helpful for you. And please make sure you subscribe to my channel because then you will get a not notification on when I post new OneNote life hacks.